Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout, and today's video is going to be a follow-up to one that we did a few days ago and a few days ago before that as well. This is the third part in the Teams to Manage series where I give you like suggestions on who you can manage in FM21. You guys seem to have been enjoying them and if you do get any use out of this one let me know in the comments down below. This will likely be the last video on the topic but if any of you guys want an extra episode let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Before we get into the first team a big thank you to any of you guys who came over to my channel the link will be in the description. I was aiming for like 200 subscribers or 250 subscribers by the end of the year. You guys have already got it close to 300 so thank you very much for that and let's get into the first team. So we had a lot of comments in the last two videos about oh you haven't done a Portuguese team yet can you give us a Portuguese team to manage and I think I found a pretty good one here one that I think a lot of people are aware of this year and that is Vitoria Setubal I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but the reason that we're managing them and I've prefaced every other video by saying this so I'll say it in this one this is FM20 FM21 isn't out yet so obviously things such as the league they're in, the players they have, the facilities they have are subject to change, but not by too much. But the thing that is quite different with this team is you can see here they're in Liga Nos and have been for a long, long time. That is the top division in Portugal. But then in recent times, things haven't gone so well. They've been relegated into the third division this season, even though they were in the top flight because of some kind of registration issue. I'll see what the exact Wikipedia definition was for the reason that they got relegated. So all I could find is that they got relegated to the third division instantly for not meeting requirements for professional registration in La Liga NOS. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know why this has happened. It could be a financial issue. I don't know. But what we do know is outside of the big three teams in Portugal, Setubal are one of the most successful teams. So the fact that they're in the third division poses quite a good challenge and quite a good save idea to like build them back up. Let's have a look at what they have done before. So they've won three Portuguese cups, I believe this is. Yeah, if we have a look here, look, it's on the same list as like the FA Cup. So it's the Portuguese equivalent of the FA Cup. And they have some other landmarks in there too. If we go to competitions, we can see that they did come runners up in Liga Nos in 1972 and have been a third place team in that 70s period. And just looking at their recent form, you can see they were fifth not long ago. So they've always been around in the top division, eighth, sixth, 14th. You get the idea. They're always floating around and they have recently been more towards the bottom of the table, as you can see here. But always staying up and always a feature of the Portuguese first division. So it's a surprise that they have been relegated two divisions now into the third division but it shouldn't be too much of a challenge to get them out obviously I don't know the exact reason why they went down maybe one of you guys can let me know if it's a financial issue you will have to deal with that but this is a club that's got a decent stadium capacity and then if we go to their facilities let's see what they've got there not very good to be honest I mean they have got good academy coaching but everything else is below or average you can see that this has probably been a team on the decline for a while so it'll be your job to turn it around and get them into the top of the division and then hopefully take it one step further than they ever have before and win the Portuguese league. You will be competing with the likes of Lisbon, Benfica and Porto obviously as the main teams in Portugal. But I think this is a doable challenge and then if you want to take it even further you can go for not just winning the Portuguese league but competing on a European front too something that Setubal haven't done very often. But they're a team with a good reputation and a good enough fan base to hopefully improve and get them back to the top. That'll be your guys job and if any of you want to do that let me know in the comments. So hopefully that satisfied you guys who wanted a Portuguese team and now we're going to move to Germany. Now the German team that we're going to be looking at is FC Magdeborg. Now it might seem like I've just picked a random team out of the lower German divisions but that's not the case. This is a team that is arguably the biggest team in eastern Germany and believe it or not in 1974 they won the European Cup. They've got a youth stadium capacity of 25,000 which is huge for a club in the third division of any league. Their finances are secure, they've got a decent squad they're one of the better teams in that third division so as you can see it's kind of an upwards trajectory they did make it into the Bundesliga 2 but as far as I'm aware they are now back in the Bundesliga 3 so it'd be your job to try and get them back into that second division maybe keep them there eventually push for the top and hopefully bring them back to the big time and eventually win another European Cup or a European competition which is obviously going to be a long save but if any of you guys are interested in that I think it will pose quite a good challenge let's have a look at their facilities I mean, to be fair, you don't expect much. They are a team in the third division. You can see their facilities aren't great. They'll need to be built upon. And you'll be wanting to bring them back some more silverware like this. Oh, I do like the way that this free league looks here. That trophy, that's quite nice. They must have a rights to this league on Football Manager. And you can see there is the European Cup Winners' Cup. 
which they have won before. So it's a team with a lot of silverware in their history and your job will be to add some more. So if any of you guys do get involved in that, let me know. I think it'd be a save again, quite a lot of people are aware of. There's quite a lot of fallen giants in Germany at the minute, such as Hamburg and Magdeburg is another one. So hopefully some of you get involved in that. And we'll move on to a definitely more well-known team in Spain. Okay, so before you fast forward through this team, there is a reason why I've chose Barcelona as a potential save idea. Now, I know a lot of you guys do prefer the more short-term saves sometimes, and I think Barcelona will be that. I wouldn't ever usually put them in the list, but obviously the reason that I've gone for it this year is the whole Lionel Messi situation. We don't know what it's going to look like in FM21 yet, whether he's going to be guaranteed to leave no matter what, whether you can convince him. Obviously, there was the big thing not long ago where he was really annoyed with, the, I think it was the president of Barcelona, who is now left, I think, so I don't know how it is going to turn out, but I think no matter what, it's going to be a fun save because it's a team that's quite old, but you've got a lot of good young prospects coming through, so it might be time to move the old guard on and bring the new guard in. Then there is also the potential of, you know, if Lionel Messi does leave, then you have got the potential of, okay, that's a lot of wages, a lot of money that's now opened up, which you can kind of try and reboot the team without Messi, which would be quite a challenge in itself. But the goal with this save would be not just win La Liga again, it will be to win the Champions League with Barcelona, hopefully keeping Messi around. I mean, they've got a huge stadium capacity at the Camp Nou, 99,000 capacity. A great reputation, secure finances. I mean, if you look at their facilities, obviously it's Barcelona. It's very good. You all know how many trophies they've got in their past. That's incredible stuff there that you can see. And there's plenty of young players coming through. I mean, if we go by all players, can we see the best young players? Obviously, Ansu Fati, who won't be 16 anymore, but is one of the like highly regarded names in that Barcelona youth setup who is now coming through as a Barcelona first team player. And then the two above him as well, Pedri, who always ends up being good on Football Manager and has recently broken into the first team. And then the guy who's being called like the next Paul Pogba, Mariba, who is brilliant for me on all my Football Manager saves this year. So hopefully he turns out to be as good a player as we think he could be. So yeah, you can bring all these players through, phase out the old guard, try and bring in a new team with fresh signings, building your team, maybe not around Messi anymore, but the likes of De Jong maybe. And just seeing how that goes for a few seasons, I think that could be a fun short-term save idea. It might be one that quite a lot of people try out you're going to get a lot of transfer budget and that kind of thing so you can play around with the transfer side of stuff so hopefully you guys now see why i've put them in this list and don't give me too much stick for it in the comments and we're going to go on to the next team now in france so the french team we're looking at in this video already has the handy stuff of being in league un and being one of the best teams in league un currently and that is lil and they've really been on the up in recent times they've got a really nice young squad that often in football manager saves if you let it play out they do do quite well They've been doing well in real life too. I think they just got a massive transfer fee for Aussie men who went to Napoli, I believe, for like 70 million plus. So hopefully you have that money to spend. I don't know how much of it they went on to spend in the end. But this little team is definitely on the young side. If you look here, the oldest players, there's not that many over the age of 25. A lot of them are under the age of 25 and are some quite good prospects too. Of course, you're going to have the money from Gabriel, who has gone to Arsenal, I believe. So I don't know how much of this that they did spend in real life, like I say. But hopefully you'll have a decent transfer budget with a good squad full of some young talent too and your goal will be to try and topple PSG at the top of Ligue 1 and then eventually win the Champions League too. Now Lil's history includes three Ligue 1 titles, some cups along the way too and mainly have been a top division mainstay for a long time. If we look at their facilities you can see they've got amazing youth facilities and amazing training facilities. You're going to have to boost their recruitment and their academy coaching but other than that you're pretty much sorted. I think it's going to be a really fun save to do, Lil. It's one that I'm thinking about doing myself with that young squad. And you'll be bringing through a lot of good youth players too with them training facilities and them youth facilities. And you are kind of set up here, if you do things right, to maybe eventually take over PSG in not much time. I think if you spend right, do well, then it could be a really interesting save. So let me know if any of you guys are going to take this one up. And now we're going to move on to our fifth team of the video. So much like with the Portuguese thing, I did have someone in the comments last time, quite a few people asking, where are the Bulgarian teams? Well, I've got one here and this is quite an obvious one, but there are reasons for it. So let me explain. So even looking at that big name there, if you didn't realise, it's Luda Goretz, who are probably, and I think are, my knowledge isn't great of a Bulgarian league, but I believe they're one of the most successful teams in Bulgaria. All you have to do is click on Bulgaria and you can see they are the top club in Bulgaria, supposedly. And if you look at their competition history, they've won eight Bulgarian leagues. Maybe their successes came in more recent times then, I'm not sure. Here you go, you can see here it says they're currently enjoying their best spell of success. So as long as Football Manager has got it right, then it kind of shows that recently Luda Goretz are the best team in Bulgaria. Maybe not historically, but right now they are. So obviously you're probably kind of thinking, why have I chose the best team in Bulgaria? Like, what's the fun in that? 
well, your aim here isn't, like, your main focus won't be the Bulgarian league. You'd be expecting to win that. But I think it would be a really good idea to try and take Bulgaria as a nation, as a whole, onto bigger and better things, whether that's winning the Champions League with Luda Goretz, whether it's developing the league and producing some really good young Bulgarian players and then eventually managing the national team. It's kind of like what we mentioned with Hungary in a previous video, where it's more of a nation's rebuild kind of thing. You are obviously going to be focused on Luda Goretz, but Bulgaria as a nation will be of interest to you too. They have exceptional youth facilities, exceptional youth recruitment, and good academy coaching, so you're definitely going to get a lot of good young players coming through. Your training facilities are excellent too. You've got everything you need here to be a success in Luda Goretz. I don't know the whole situation with the stadium, but their stadium capacity doesn't seem that big for a club that is in the Champions League, at least in this year. So I think your goal should be improve the stadium, challenge on a European front, eventually produce so much talent that the Bulgarian national team is basically your Luda Goretz team, then manage the Bulgarian national team, try and win a World Cup or something, improve the league ratings of the Bulgarian league, that kind of thing. You get the idea, it'll be a nation rebuild in Bulgaria. If any of you want to step out of your comfort zone, I think this could be the one for you. And now we're going to move on to the second to last team in the video. So the team we're looking at here is Bodo slash Glimt. I don't know what they like to be called. I guess it's just Bodo Glimt. I don't know. But basically, they're one of the best teams currently in real life in Norway. You can see here that they weren't really doing anything that special. But then they're currently on track in real life to win the first ever Norwegian title in their history. They don't have the world's biggest stadium, but I think this could be really good fun trying to guide them to their first trophy in Norway. Try and replicate their success in real life. And then eventually go on for Champions League glory too. It'll be very tough, but I think it's something that will provide a fun challenge anyway. They have really good youth facilities, academy coaching, youth recruitment. All of that will tie together to give you quite a lot of good Norwegian young youth prospects. Plus great training facilities. You've got quite a lot here to set you on your way. They're a kind of like, not new team. They've been around for a while, but they're kind of rejuvenated in recent times. So you can ride that wave, take them up to the top of the Norwegian league, create some kind of dominance, then go for the Champions League. But yeah, Bodo Glimt are such an interesting team in real life. They seem to just be winning every single game. They don't have a bigger stadium. You'll be looking to improve on that. But I think this would be a really fun idea. So if anyone was looking for a Norwegian, Iceland, Swedish kind of save, I think this would be a good one to go for at Bodo. Now we're going to move on to the final team of the video and we're heading to Serbia. So looking at Serbia here, they're two of the biggest teams in Serbia are this team, which I'm not going to try and pronounce the official name, but you have Red Star as they're known in English and Partizan as two of the biggest clubs. And the team I'm saying that you should manage in Serbia is Red Star. Now, this isn't going to be tough to win the Serbian league. You can see that they've done that all throughout their history. They're currently up there as one of the best teams in Serbia. And if you look at their overview of competitions, they've won quite a lot. But what's this here? They've won a Champions League. You probably wouldn't have thought about it, but Red Star have won a Champions League in their history. They haven't really done as much on a European front in recent times, but that's going to be your job to try and bring another Champions League to Red Star. And the reason I've chose them is they have a really good young squad coming through. And that's not a surprise at all because they're always producing amazing young players. And there's a reason why. If we look here, they have exceptional youth recruitment, excellent youth facilities and good academy coaching. So you're going to be pulling all the best players from Serbia pretty much as long as Partizan don't get there first into your youth teams. And in no time, they'll make your senior squad, I imagine. They've got a huge stadium, great training facilities. You're set up here to do well, secure finances, which will hopefully carry over into FM21. The older players in the team are all good too. So you can kind of like start filtering your young players in slowly. You don't have to worry about starting completely fresh there are some good players there already which will hopefully in the first few seasons help you establish some dominance in serbia they're already doing it in real life so you can do the same job here and then eventually move on to that champions league target and get another champions league under the club's belt so if you're looking to go out of a normal top five leagues in europe i think this could be a good one to do if any of you do get involved in the comments let me know i know a lot of you were asking for a serbian team or a slavic kind of team to be put in the video so i've gone for a red star and that is the final team. So if you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like, leave a comment if it helps you out at all. It really helps us if you leave a like or a comment. So thank you for anyone who does that. Hit the subscribe button for all the best content coming out as FM21 draws closer. We'll have it all here on FM Scout. I've been Jake. I thank you for watching. Hopefully it's helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.